another day is done. And that means another attempt at a good night's sleep. But it doesn't always happen, does it? When was the last time you woke up in the morning saying, I feel great? Well, you're not alone. And it's a worse problem than you might think. Sleep is among the most basic requirements of life. While one might have the impression that we are inactive during sleep, it's quite the opposite. It's when our brain rewires, refiles, and resorts. It's busy processing our day, making connection between events, sensory input, feelings, and memories. Quality sleep helps us remember and process things better. Our body mends and rejuvenates itself, readying itself for another day. It's when our body repairs damage caused by stress, ultraviolet rays, and other harmful exposures. Our cells produce more protein while we sleep. Protein is a critical building block for our cells. Sleep is as important to us as the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the water we drink. Lack of it has an impact on our jobs, relationships, productivity and safety, as well as our physical and mental health. And it applies to all ages. You may not be feeling the effects when you're young, but it will catch up to you as you age. We need sleep to survive. But is a good night's rest determined by the quantity of sleep we get? That is important. Sleep experts suggest that seven to nine hours is the recommended dose. But how much we actually sleep is greatly affected by our modern lifestyle. We tend to try to get along with less. The ugly truth is that even though society has changed, our bodies haven't. An even bigger issue, one often overlooked, is the quality of our sleep. Just how much sleep are we really getting in those seven to nine hours or less? According to the National Sleep Foundation, more than 70 million Americans suffer from sleep issues, and it's evenly divided between adults and children. More than half of them consider it a chronic problem. If as a society we are shortening the time we sleep and reducing how well we sleep, we're in for big trouble. Untreated sleep disorders have been linked to hypertension, heart disease, stroke, depression, diabetes, and other chronic diseases. Ouch. But when we do get enough quality sleep, our lives take a dramatic turn for the better. We wake refreshed, ready to take on the day. We have more energy, less stress. We're more alert, we think more clearly. And our bodies are fortified to better combat illness. Only you can control how much sleep you get. For good health, allot the proper amount of time for sleep. It's not wise to burn the candle at both ends. But there are other steps you can take to improve the quality of your sleep. And that has a lot to do with what you're sleeping on. Your bed should allow proper support and circulation. It should allow your body to breathe. And it should maintain a comfortable temperature. Not too hot, not too cold. Sleep well, and you will face each day happier, healthier, and more energetic.